Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 29th, and today was a pretty nice day overall. We had some like weird rain come up, it's like out of nowhere, it was a beautiful day. It rained for like, I don't know, a minute or two, and then it came back off, the sun came out, it was beautiful again. And then the wind came up like a giant storm, um, got a lot of rain, and then it just kind of turned off a little chilly, which was fine. I didn't say chilly, it's not hot like it's been for the last week. Turned off beautiful wise, but it just seemed to rain off and on all day long. It would rain a little bit, then it would stop, then rain a little bit and stop. Um, it's just kind of a strange weather. Usually we've seen like we've been having a lot more like it just rains like hell and then it doesn't rain. It's like monsoon or nothing kind of thing. So it was definitely a little bit different. Um, I went ahead today and um, headed out to a couple yard sales, hit a couple auctions and that. Ended up finding one of the yard sales, talked to a lady there. Turns out she's a personal trainer and one of her she claims one of her strengths are running but that might be because i mentioned i was a runner so i can't imagine if my if i would said i was a swimmer she would have said she was really good at teaching people how to run but she would have probably said she teaches really good swimming so all just kind of depends upon you know what's going on there and how that all works out so i might go out and talk to her and see about getting maybe a lesson or two see if i can't figure out how to stop heel striking um not really too concerned. I'm not a big fan of paying somebody lots and lots of money per hour, which is pretty crazy. But if I can get a lesson or two in there and learn something good, it'll be worth the time. So from that one there, I went to the auction. I actually saw that um, yard sale first. Went to the auction. They had some stuff they were selling. Had a um, nice Corvette. And they had a Saturn um, Sky, some different you know vehicles. But the guy had added like all kinds of glue on extras, just like little fake hood scoops, all the crap from J.C. Whitney. Flame pinstriping, extra little flame, you know, like mirror covers, and just a lot of ugly, gaudy ass, disgusting things. And a couple of nice vehicles, but who knows? They ended up going for I thought way too much money for what they were, and as hideous they were, and how much it was going to cost to get them all detailed up, get it all buffed off, and possibly repainted, depending on what damage was all there. But Somebody must have thought they were worth it. The big thing that really threw me off was the Corvette. Like, literally, as they're going to sell the car, they then tell everybody, oh, by the way, they never hooked up the heat and air conditioning on it when they redid it. So, I was like, ah, don't make any sense. Who does it while they're hooking up their heat and air conditioning unless it's a race car? And that car clearly was a street-driven car. So, don't know what the hell the purpose of that was. Um, I kind of bowed out right then. I knew in my head I was not going to bid on the car. And it brought, in my opinion, more than plenty for what it was worth. Then you add in what could be... $100 fix to plug in some wiring, have it rewired up, or it could be a $3,000 fix to get your heat and your air working. So definitely way out past where I thought it was worth. They had a 99 Lincoln, that blue book value on it, clean with the mileage, all that crap. If it was at a dealership, it was like 4400 bucks, I think, something like that. And it brought, and like average retail for like a regular customer, like peer-to-peer, -peer, um, it was going to be like, I want to say 3100 something like that, whatever, 2900 somewhere in there. And it brought $5,900, I believe is what it brought, which again is just an insane amount of money for what it was. It's just a 99 Lincoln, wasn't nothing special, just town car, no big deal. So, But anyway, people kind of get a little carried away on that stuff. And that happens at times, just, and it's one of those things, the man that passed away was his stuff, was kind of known around town as having really nice things, kind of had a little bit of money and that kind of stuff. So I think a lot of people get out and they want to act like they've now got money by buying his stuff and they can have the same thing the rich guy had. So a lot of that showed up. A lot of that money to add in a little extra because it was known vehicle so-and-so owned. Not my thing. I was looking for something I could buy, peel off all the ugly stickers and all the ugly glue on hood scoops and all that crap, drive it for a few months, maybe turn a buck or two and profit and go from there. But not at these prices. There was no chance at all in hell of that happening. So went ahead, came back home, uh, made some more little crafty stuff to sell. Got some um, new plants repotted. Um, got some stuff that I bought that I put in some hanging baskets to maybe make a couple dollars extra that way. Had leftover baskets before. Also got probably five new plants planted around my own house. And that just stuff I wanted to, actually I think there were seven. I got seven planted I guess. Got that done. Like I said, just got a few things done in the shop. Got a few things made. Uh, making some old rustic tin into some yard art and that. So don't know if I'm going to ever sell any or not. But that was kind of fun making. So other than that, not much going on today. Same old, same old. Went and got my run in. Um, starting to think this one mile a day thing really isn't quite worth it. I ran like 1.4 miles, I think it was today. So tomorrow my plan was to run my fastest 10K time ever. My buddy and I was going to run it together, kind of help pace me and stuff. And Q was going to help kind of keep me on track, somebody to bullshit with and that. He told me this afternoon 
that he was out. So I'm not sure how it's going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go out. I'm going to kick ass and do my best and see if I can't crush my time. But it sure would have been nice to have somebody go with me. So, But, oh well, I guess I'll do it myself. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Let you know how my results are. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.